Hello, um, I'm doing the uh, 10 terrible songs on 10 amazing albums. Uh, not sure who started this, um, but I decided to take a crack at it. Um, every single album I am going to mention, uh, at least most, most people have heard of. Um, which hopefully you don't get too upset because despite the title, none of these songs are terrible. Um, I just had to nit nitpick on some because they were some of my favorite albums. There are only two songs from, uh, from my entire, actually, no, mm -hmm. about three songs from, uh, all the albums I'm going to mention and, uh, nine out of ten of these albums I do own. Uh, the last one I'm going to mention I don't. So I figured I'd save that for last. And um, <clears throat> the first one we're going to talk about is the section Storm of the, Light Storm of the Life Bane. Now I love this album. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, it's my second favorite um, black metal album next to the Sunberlane. Um, until a couple years ago when I got this, I was spinning it and Soul Reaper came on and I entirely forgot that it, ex it, that it existed because I remember the first time I've heard it, it, it did not match the intensity or like, not, I want to say intensity, this whole album is intense, but, um, Soul Reaper I always found like, it wasn't as good as Unhallowed nice blood where where dead, where dead angels lie in the rest um the uh the intro and outros don't really count so soul reaper always like hit me as like the weakest part of this out al of this album um and the yeah the weakest song uh it's still a great song it's it's like an i'd say like a 7.5 nowadays the rest of the album is full of nines and tens, but um, yeah, that's that's one of them. I still love this album. It's a great album. Next one we're gonna <clears throat> talk about is Fear Factory's the the manufacturer. Um, I did, I got into this album a couple years ago. It's it's great. Um, so many bangers on here. There is this is one of those albums one I mentioned earlier. Uh, Oh, uh, there's three songs that I dislike, and it's one, it's their cover of Dog Day Sunrise. I can't tell you how much I dislike that song. Like, the riffs aren't that really great. The vocal melody is so fucking annoying. Like, Dog Day Sunrise, Dog Day Sunrise, Dog Day Sun... Mm -mm. Why? Please, just why? It, it also ruins, like the um the momentum this album has because you have banger after banger after banger and then you go to dog shit no pun intended for the title but um people say therapy of pain is the weakest track no the, the cover is the weakest track therapy of pain is like an atmospheric electronic like track and it's very haunting i always found the melody very very good um but Dog Day Sunrise is just like a piss stain on a very, very good album. So yeah, that's the manufacturer. <laughs> um, next album we're talking about is my second favorite album of all time. Um, and I actually grew to like this song because um, because it, it, of course, being on my second favorite album. And the album is uh, Zunzucht by Rammstein. Um, the song is the song Zunzucht is amazing. It's the very last track, uh, Kusmich, a Fellfrosch. Um, it took me a long ass time to like this song because the riff is kind of weird, and that that sound effect that 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 sound effect that they have just rubbed me the wrong way. It sounded really, really silly, and it just made me... My, my cat is on the door. <laughs> um, 
and anyway, it took me a long while to like that song i do like it now it i still it's still the weakest track on this album but i do like it now it's i'd say it's like a seven seven point five um but fell frosh is always like uh rubbed me the wrong way up until like a year and a half ago i think and uh, by the way, that song is about uh, oral sex. Anyway. <clears throat> Next up, uh, I might get a lot of shit for. Because this is a very, very loved album. And like I said before, this this song still bangs. But the album we're going to talk about is Death's Leprosy. And you're going to be wondering, why do I bring this one up? Because there are banger after banger after banger on this one. Well, um, it's the one on, it's one on B-side, it's called uh, Prim Primitive Ways. I always found that song kind of lackluster compared to uh, Open Casket, Pull the Plug, uh, Left to Die, Choke on It. Um, it's still a great song, it's just, I, f I feel like it's the most empty sounding song in early death, or in death in general. Um, it, like I said, it's still a great song, but it feels like, like, if I told you to choose Primitive Ways over Leprosy, which one would you choose? If I asked you to choose Primitive Ways over Left to Die or Pull the Plug, I guarantee you choose those songs over Primitive Ways. But, um, otherwise, I love this album. This is one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. Um... But Primitive Ways always, like, seem to be, like, that one bullied stepbrother of a song. Um, but, yeah. A fantastic album. And, um... Uh, kind of relating to, uh, the section and death, this album I'm gonna show you also has that, um, that one song that ruins the momentum, but it's still pretty good. And uh, that is Metallica's uh, Ride the Lightning. Um, I, 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 you already know what song I'm going to say. Um, the song is Escape, of course. They were basically forced to put that song on this album because the record label back then. Um, it's still a great song. I've always enjoyed it. I've never had a problem with it. But I cannot um, not admit that uh, it does, it is the weakest track on this album. And, um, like, the chorus is really catchy. Um, this isn't one that I purposely, or, like, I actively dislike. Um, I just, I, I admit that it, it is the weakest track on this album because you have, you have Fade to Black, Creeping Death, Fight Fire with Fire in the title track. Like, duh. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's that's Ride the Lightning. This one, uh, it's kind of funny because of the track I'm going to mention. Um, this one is uh, KMFDM's uh, Angst. And this album has so many freaking bangers. The first time I've heard it, I was like blown away because light as an opener is fantastic. A drug against war is insane, and a blood evil mix is like incredibly catchy. There is one song on here that kind of kind of rubbed me the wrong way the first couple times I've heard it, and uh, despite the title, it is called "Sucks." It is their it is their meme song. Um. It's the like the, the instrumentals on this one. And um I do like their sense of humor. But like this album is so full of bangers is when once you get the sucks, you're like, what am I listening to after listening to all these awesome bangers? Um it it does kinda suck that they put their meme song on like a perfect album. I'd call this like this is this is either my favorite or Tohu Vabahu. Um, 
it, it bounces between because these are just amazing albums but that that track um has always like it states it sticks out like a store thumb or a store thumb a sore thumb but that's all i have to say about that um it's a decent song um to be uh, actually i still kind of like it so it's not the worst song that i'm gonna mention on here and next um Next, I'm not quite sure uh, where most people stand on this album. I don't, I don't see, I haven't really seen people mention this song as their favorite. But the album I'm going to talk about is uh, Dark Thrones, A Blaze in the Northern Sky. Um, uh, for a while, I always kind of didn't, didn't really care for where cold winds blow. I found it like less less entertaining than literally any other track on this album and the fact that uh, the, the title track comes right after is just just it just shows you how kind of a downgrade that song was in in this in these six tracks there's not really much to say here besides i i it's usually it, it was your typical like black metal song but i've grown to like it um, it's kind of showing, uh, where they would eventually go with Transylvania Hunger, which I, I'm not going to talk about that at all, album because, uh, hot takes here, bros, hot takes. But, um, I, I've grown to like the song, but it's, it's definitely the weakest track off this album. Um, next one, uh, it's going to be the most silliest... That's gonna be the most silliest reason why I don't really care for this song. But the album I'm talking about is uh, Croft, uh, Uh It says The Man Machine, but it's, um, the al actual album's name is Mensch Machine, which, it, or Mensch Machina, which is what this means. Um, this album has a lot of catchy, this is, if you don't know who Croftwerk is, they're synth pop. Um, there was one song on here that I didn't really vibe to, and that's uh, Metropolis. Every single, every single song on here besides that one, like, bangs. And then the stupid reason why I don't care for Metropolis is because the intro is kind of drawn out, and the rest of the song don't, doesn't really captivate me that much. I guess you could say the synths don't really tickle my brain in a good way. But, every other, it comes... It comes uh, right before the model, which is debatably the best song off this album. So that's my stupid reason why I don't care for that song. And so we are moving on to the next one. All right. And um, the next one we're talking about is my favorite from this artist. Um, and that is Gojira's uh, Terry Incognita. Um, this album is full of bangers. Um, yeah, like the entire A side, B side is full of bangers. And then most of C side is good until you get to the very last track, which is, uh, in the forest. Um, it's an eight minute long track. And like, once you get to like the, the story part, it's more like um it's more like a rhythm they're using the guitars more like a rhythm instrument like like they do they do this funny rhythm with the and i always thought that sounded very very silly and then once you get like more further into the track there's like a minute and a half silence and I really don't like tracks that do that. Um, I did. I did say there were three songs that I would mention I don't really like. In the forest, I've kind of grown on a little bit. It's definitely the weakest track off this album. Um, I still I love this album. This is my favorite Gojira album. But yeah. 
And the last um, album we're going to talk about, I don't actually own. Hopefully I'll have it soon. Not soon, unlike soon soon, but whatever. And that is uh, another Gojira album, uh, Gojira's uh, From Mars to Sirius. And it is a banger album. It is definitely my top three Gojira album. However, um, I never liked Ocean Planet. The fact that the fact that Backbone comes right after it just shows how weak that song was. Honestly, if the the track listing was switched, I probably would like Ocean Planet. But Ocean Planet is just. It's such a drawn out song. It repeats way too many times. The main riff is not even that good. Sometimes I forget it even exists because of, um, because I feel like the album would be a lot better without it. Or like I said earlier, if it was buried in the track list. But as an opener, it's gotta be the worst Gojira openers. I'm, I'm sorry. That's probably one of my hot t few hot takes with Gojira. But I've never liked Ocean Planet. Um, but if you like it, um, that's that's fine. I I don't care. I respect your opinion. I expect you to respect mine. So any uh, every single song on here that I mentioned are not terrible, despite the title being ten terrible songs. So. Um, Yep, that is all the uh, all the songs I have to mention, um, and I'll see you in the next video.